everybody welcome back to the northern soul sisters channel my name's rachel and i'm here today to introduce month three of the little miss so-and-so learn to dress make course so for those of you that have just joined us or those of you that have been following us for a while you will know that myself tamlin and rowan have been taking part in this six month sewing subscription box which is all about learning to dress make and it's run in collaboration with the lovely Donna from Size Me Sewing and each month you get a gorgeous box of goodies where you can choose the fabric but the pattern is already chosen for you and you get all the notions that you need to make the pattern and you get access to a fantastic video tutorial from the lovely Donna to enable you to develop your skills and make something gorgeous to wear. So this is month three and I have got the honour this month of starting us off and showing you what comes in month three. Now I have already opened my box so I already know what's inside because as I say you do get to choose your own fabric. There is a selection of fabrics that you can choose from so it's not a complete surprise if that makes sense but this month is month three and this month we are going to be making the florence blouse now you get the full paper pattern with your box and you also get as i say you get all the notions and you get the fabric and everything you need to make the pattern that it comes with so this month we've got the florence blouse which is a loose fit pattern for woven fabrics and it has raglan sleeves it has deep shirred cuffs which is a new technique that you will be learning and it creates a dramatic shape to the wrist and adds a feminine touch to this beautiful design so you can see the detail here i love donna's line drawings on the pattern envelope because they'd really show off the details you've got center front seam raglan and then these gorgeous shirred cuffs so what i have got in my little box today before i show you the fabric is all the notions to be able to make this blouse you get the thread which is a gutterman thread and that will give you a clue as to obviously the color of the fabric that i chose this month we've also got some bias binding so this is quite narrow bias binding and it's a cotton bias binding so that will be i assume to finish the neckline and what else do we get we get a reel of shirring elastic as well which is important to be able to do those gorgeous cuffs and then as a little extra we also get a lovely wrist pinned cushion as well i love these i've actually made them in the past but they're just great for like you know when you're sewing to just pop the pins straight into your wrist well not into your wrist but you know what i mean so that you don't end up sewing over pins because that would be bad and then the fabric so the fabric that i chose this month is this and it's a gorgeous cotton lawn with like this scribble design on i just love it i think it's really different and yeah absolutely gorgeous blues really suit my coloring although maybe not so much since i've changed my hair color but hey ho and yeah it's gorgeous it's got different color blues on a plain white background as i say this is a cotton lawn so i need to get this pre-washed just to make sure that any shrinkage happens before i cut into my fabric and get my pattern cut out so the pattern comes in symbols for sizes and donna does this with all her patterns to make sure that you actually measure yourself and you don't go by your ready to wear size because lots of us when we're beginners especially we assume that our ready to wear size is the same in sewing sizes and it's not and it's really important to measure yourself accurately so that you know what size you should start your garment in, basically, because the size is just the starting point. You may need to make other adjustments. So Donna goes through all this in her video tutorial anyway, but the measurements are on the back of the pattern. So this comes in sizes 32 bust up to 
a size 50 bust and your natural waist from a 24 and a half to a 42 and hips of 35 to 53 so it's a fairly inclusive size range and yeah the accompanying video video tutorials for donna's patterns are really really good really thorough very detailed and help handhold you and guide you through the making of her garments so Little Miss So-and-So, Nicola, who is behind Little Miss So-and-So, has very kindly offered all our Northern Soul Sisters viewers a 50% off your first box. So the code for that is NSS half price, which I will put along the bottom here. So if you are interested in checking out this subscription course for yourself, then you can go along and treat yourself to a box for half price to see what it's all about. I'm looking forward to making this top and I'm equally looking forward to finding out which fabric my gorgeous Northern Soul sisters, Ruan and Tamlin, have chosen for their Florence blouses. So I'm going to pass over to them now and I will see you later. Rachel here. I am now going to chat to you about my finished Florence blouse, which I am wearing here. I'm not sure what I think about it. I'm going to be perfectly honest. So... Let me talk you through firstly sizing. So those of you that have been following our series for a while will know that Donna sizes her patterns through symbols rather than traditional dress sizes, as in 6, 8, 10, or even small, medium, large, or 1, 2, 3. She ignores all of that and she uses symbols. We all know those of us that have been you know, come from a ready-to-wear background that the fixation women have on sizing and fitting into a size whatever or being a size small has a real massive psychological effect. And when people come into sewing from that, they have this idea in the head of what size they are, but they never measure themselves. I never measured myself before I started sewing. So, Donna really wants you to measure yourself and not even put yourself into what you think might be your size when you are sewing. And that's really important as a beginner. So I think it's a fabulous idea. So she has symbols. Now, looking at this blouse, the finished measurements for the Florence is quite a lot of ease around the bust. So it's designed to be fairly loose fit okay now the fabric recommendations for this blouse are lightweight woven drapey fabrics however the choices that we were given for fabric for this pattern were all cotton lawns which as a beginner you don't know the difference between your fabric bases generally i certainly didn't but I would not class cotton lawn as a drapey woven fabric. It's definitely woven, but it's not drapey. So immediately that sort of made, rang alarm bells with me when it came to choosing the size that I wanted to make for this pattern. And the reason for that is because cotton lawn, as much as it's lightweight, it tends to still have a fair bit of structure. So anything that has a lot of ease in it is going to hold the shape and stick out from your body to a degree. And this pattern design is a bodice with no darts in, and it's got sort of like a balloon shaped sleeve with gorgeous shirring at the wrist. So I was worried that if I chose the size that equated to my bust size, because of the amount of ease that was in this pattern and alongside sewing with cotton lawn that this was going to make me look a lot bigger than what I am and I don't want that look if I'm honest. So my bust size at the moment is about 39 and that puts me between the fourth and fifth symbol of this particular pattern. The fourth size is a circle which is a bust measurement of 38 inches and then the next one which is the square is a 40 so I'm directly in between those but when I looked at the finished measurements for the fourth size with the bust measurement of 38 the finished measurement was 45 inches so that's seven inches of ease 
and the fifth size it was 47 and a half and that was a bust of, of 40 so that's seven and a half inches of ease so i was thinking i don't want that amount of ease in a cotton lawn blouse because it's just going to swamp me and not look right so i actually sized down to the third size which is actually a bust size of 36 and a half and a finished measurement of 43 so that's still four inches of ease around my bust and i thought that would probably be okay i was still a little bit nervous that it was maybe going to be too much but yeah, I thought that would probably be okay. Now, I didn't make any other adjustments to the pattern pieces. I didn't lengthen the sleeves as I normally would, and I didn't lengthen the bodice either. I just sewed this pattern up exactly as it is in the third size. And I'm five foot 10 for reference, and sizing wise, it came out absolutely fine. The blouse hem hits me sort of on my high hip I would say and the sleeves come right over my wrists which are you know absolutely perfect for me so that's just something to bear in mind I do have quite long arms and a long torso but I didn't need to make any adjustments which is great sewing this up was easy cotton lawn is really easy to work with which again from a beginner perspective is perfect because when you are you know working with the more drapey fabrics that presents new challenges in addition to learning to new techniques, etc. And one of the key features of this pattern is to learn sharing, which is fantastic. Sharing has been in lots of indie patterns that we've seen over the last 12 to 18 months. So it's, you know, it's an old technique, isn't it, from the 70s, but it's really come back and we're seeing it a lot in sewing community designs. So Donna has you learn sharing in this, but just in the wrists and just in the cuffs of this top, which is really unique. And I think it's a fantastic idea because you could adapt that to use in lots of other patterns if you like that particular style. And what I do love about Donna's way of teaching you sharing in this pattern is that instead of what I've seen when I've done shirring before in other patterns where you do a row of shirring, tie off and then move across to your next line of shirring and start again, she has you can do it in a continuous loop so to speak. So you're not going round and round like a snail, you do your first loop and then you actually just move your foot across and then do your next loop so you're not actually tying off which is brilliant because it means you don't have if you've done sharing before you'll know that you end up with lots of loose threads don't you of your normal thread and your elastic thread as well and it always looks really untidy and trying to get that neat etc but you don't have that with this with the way Donna gets you to do sharing on this it's brilliant really really good so you do 13 rows of shirring and that's how it looks when it's all done. And I would say, you know, it gives you quite a deep cuff. I think when I did mine that I didn't start my shirring close enough to the hem. So I've got a bit of a, what I would call a pie crust hem. And it's probably just a little bit too frilly for me. I, I, I will say that. I think I probably should have you know started the showing a little bit closer to the hem than I did but you know it's fine it's it's absolutely fine so it's got a v-neck with a center front seam you've got raglan sleeves and then you've got a little dart in the top of the shoulder here to just give you that nice curve over the shoulder v-front as I say I feel for me that I have probably stretched out this front side a little bit because it's hanging away from my body whereas this side is flat to my body so that's my error it's not in the pattern you have a bias bound neckline as well and yeah that's a little error I did so again you need to make sure that you stay stitch the neckline because this line here is on the bias and when you're attaching bias tape to it's easy to stretch it out of shape pretty sure that I did stay stitch it but yeah it has stretched out of shape a little bit 
what I would say for me is I don't like this depth of the neck on me. I prefer it just a little bit lower, not cleavage bearing, but I just feel that this depth of neck is not the most flattering on me. It's not my favourite, I'll be honest. But, you know, apart from that, it was straightforward to put together. As always, Donna has a fabulous little video tutorial to go with her patterns, which are always excellent. And her instructions, her written instructions were really straightforward. I didn't have any issues with that. And I think as a beginner, for a beginner project, it would be a really good project to try. But yeah, my main bugbear is the fact that the pattern actually recommends a drapey fabric such as viscose or crepe, yet the choices we were given for this course were cotton lawns. And yeah, I don't think this pattern suits a cotton lawn. I'm going to be honest. For me, it's not a fabric choice that I would choose for this style of pattern. I I actually really like cotton lawn. I think it's a lovely fabric. This fabric is a Lady McElroy fabric and, you know, their fabrics are fantastic and I really do love cotton lawn, but I think it needs to be used for the right type of garment. I think for, you know, more structured designs such as shirt dresses, shirts, that kind of thing, it's fantastic for, but I think for blouses, that are designed to have drape, it doesn't really work. So let me stand up anyway, and I will show you my finished top. So I've left it tucked out for now, just to show you where it hits on me, but my high hip is about here. So it actually comes just a little bit lower, but not on my full hip. So it's in between high hip and full hip. Um, sleeve length, I think is absolutely fine you've got, as I say, this sort of balloon sleeve, but can you see how it is, because of the structure of cotton lawn, it just holds the shape, whereas these kinds of sleeves really need to be drapey so that they billow and move as you move. And yeah, it doesn't quite work. I feel really frumpy in this, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I mean, I could tuck it in to the top of my jeans, like so and that looks probably a little bit better but yeah I I yeah I'm I'm not keen I'm gonna be honest and I don't think it's the design so much I think it is purely because it's a cotton lawn. Um, I've gone down at least one and a half sizes from what my body measurements should have made me choose and I think you know I do have I do have plenty of room in this and plenty of ease that I needed for this pattern um if I had gone for you know gone up a size and a half even more then I would have had a lot more fabric enveloping me and I think the frumpiness that I'm feeling I would feel even more than I do. I do think it looks better tucked in, but I'm not 100% sold on using cotton lawn for this pattern. But I'd love to know what you think. Everybody sees things differently, don't they? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know how I would wear this. If I'm honest, it doesn't. It feels too dressy to wear with jeans, even though that's how I'm wearing it for you today. I don't think it's probably a top that I would reach for to wear casually when I'm at home. It probably feels a bit more work wearish, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, you know, let me know what you think. I'd be really keen to hear your thoughts. I would love to try it in a viscose. I think in a viscose, it could look absolutely beautiful, but I do think I would probably lower this neckline by about an inch to about there. I think that for me, for my own personal style, would feel more me, if that makes sense. So, but yeah, I would be really keen to hear what you think about my third project. And I'm going to hand it over to Tamlin to tell you all about hers. And it's my turn. So, <laughs> I'm going to try and separate my personal feelings about the finished garment 
and how I see it as a project as part of the Learn to Dress Make course because that's what it's all about really, that's what these videos are about, to try and review the course and how that all works. So in terms of this as a third project for the course, I think it's great. It's described as a loose fitting blouse with raglan sleeves, deep shirred cuffs which create a dramatic shape to the wrist and add a feminine touch to this beautiful design. So project two was a blouse, this is also a blouse but it's quite a different in its style and it introduces the skill of shirring which has been everywhere over the last year or two in terms of sewing and I think it's a really great skill to learn and introduce in quite a small section of the garment rather than like a whole bodice that's been shirred or something like that. So in terms of that I think it's a great third project. It's the opportunity potentially to work with a drapey lightweight fabric again. The pattern does say that the recommended fabric is lightweight woven fabric with drape such as viscose and crepe. Now this is where I'm a little bit confused and I think the girls are as well because the choices for this month's fabric were cotton lawn and yes that's a lightweight fabric but I don't really see that as being a drapey fabric. It was really lovely to be able to choose a Lady McElroy fabric and I'd had my eye on this one for a little while. In reality, I'm not sure I love it. I feel like the colours, it looks like it's faded, but that's just the print. I know that that's what it's supposed to be like, but it looks like these should be really vibrant and really pop, but they don't. It's like a bit muted, which is strange because it's got all those beautiful colours in. But yes, this is a cotton lawn and... I think I've come to the realisation that I'm not particularly keen on wearing cotton or cotton lawn as a fabric. I know a lot of people do love it. I don't think I really like wearing it, to be honest. It, it doesn't feel particularly comfortable on me. And then when I've tried on the finished blouse, I don't think it's very drapey. And I think I would have preferred this blouse in a drapey fabric I think it would have worked a lot better it would have given it that softness and that flow but never mind it was great to work with sewing with a cotton or a cotton lawn is great because it's stable it does what you want it to it's not really shifty the way that a viscose is so in terms of that it was great also I'm thinking possibly they put a cotton lawn in because you were doing that shirring and to shir for the first time on a viscose might have been a bit more tricky whereas doing it on a cotton lawn was definitely easier so I think choices were made for valid reasons I just don't particularly think this fabric type works for this blouse but that's my personal preference I also think I've chosen the wrong size I don't know why I did this to be honest in all previous size me sewing makes I've chosen the third size up on the size chart now the sizes are like symbols rather than numbers so it's difficult for me to really tell you but I've always gone for the third size up which is a 36.5 bust 28 inch waist and a 39 inch hip so my bust is around 37 my waist is 30 and my hips are 40 so actually those measurements are a little bit smaller than me the next size up so the circle is 38 inch bust which is slightly bigger than me 30 inch waist which is perfect and 41 inch hip which is slightly bigger so for some reason I decided to go with that size the fourth size up on this make and I just think it's too oversized on me I'm going to stand up and show you I haven't hemmed this I'll be honest because when I tried it on I decided not to because I didn't think I would wear this garment however I'd be open to feedback and hearing what you think and perhaps I should hem it and just see if I can make it work but let's stand up and show you so as you can see here it is supposed to be loose but I think the sleeves as well have just ended up far too big because I think I should have made the size down so if I was to sort of tuck that in a little bit let's tuck this bell out of the way the sleeves are very long 
and then because this is a cotton it just doesn't really fall the way that it should if that was a viscose or something more drapey I think that would look a lot better but I just don't think they fall very nicely on me in this fabric I like this neckline I think that's lovely I like the raglan sleeves I think they work really nicely so you've got that seam coming across here I don't think the sizing is too bad across here actually across the shoulders it's more everywhere else so yeah I think a combination of me choosing the wrong size and also the fabric type has meant that I'm not thrilled with the finished garment to be honest however I really did enjoy making this I did watch Donna's video for the sew along on YouTube which is really lovely to do because she's just so friendly and warm and it does feel like you're sewing along with a friend which is so nice so yes the video was really really helpful I made a note on the pattern actually that there was one place in particular where I thought the video was excellent and that was for step eight which is inserting the sleeves I thought that the video was really useful at that point especially also for the sharing I thought that was great the sharing was done in a slightly different way so you did all of your sharing on your wrist in one continuous stitch so one continuous stitching line and you just sort of jumped across you just moved your project across to do all of the different rows which I thought was great one thing I did find in the instructions it says to do 13 rows of sharing and it says to do it I think it says to do it like the edge of the foot's width each time my sewing machine my default setting on my sewing machine my needle position is to the left it's not in the center and I think Donna's must be in the center judging by the picture and the video that I watched so that would make the distance actually different wouldn't it so I sort of had this not panic but this thought when I was doing the sharing that mine was going to be further apart because I also put my sleeve onto my sewing machine the opposite way around to the way that Donna tells you to oops she picked up, she picked up on that when I put a photo of it on Instagram and she said yeah you put it on the other way than the way that I recommended it would have been easier the other way I'll know for next time but yes I started to think well my sharing is going to be further apart because my needle and my edge of my foot are further apart than in the pattern so for that reason I then only did 10 rows of sharing rather than the 13 that were recommended because I thought that might give me about the same distance I don't know so I don't know if my shared panel has ended up bigger or smaller than it's supposed to I'm not sure so yeah that was just a little funny thing I would have preferred it to give a distance rather than the edge of the foot I think if, if it gave a numerical measurement it would be more helpful or you could give both you could say the edge of your foot and then in brackets it could say the actual measurement I think that would be useful because whether it's just brother machines or my machine which is the Innovus F420D D I don't think it's got D on the end but my default needle position is to the left so yes other than that as I say sewing process was really smooth and I enjoyed putting it together I just didn't enjoy trying it on at the end I don't particularly feel great in it which is a shame and as it is I don't think I'll wear it if anyone's got any suggestions on how I could maybe change it up a little bit so I do wear it or is it just that it's this fabric type and I don't like wearing this fabric type and therefore nothing I make in it will or no changes that I make will make any difference I don't know <laughs> help me <laughs> so I'm really actually looking forward to hearing what the girls have got to say about it as well to hear if they found any similar things to me or not like I said earlier I think as a third project for the learn to dress make course I think it is a great project for lots of different reasons I think that's maybe where the difficulty comes in with myself Ruan and Rachel reviewing this course is that we're not beginners learning to dress make so it's quite difficult to kind of put ourselves in those shoes sometimes and see it from that point of view because maybe when I was right at the start of my journey if I made this as a third project I'd probably be absolutely thrilled with it so that's like just the difficult kind of 
weighing up that. I hope that some of the things I've said have been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed hearing my thoughts anyway, and I'll pass over to one of my other gorgeous Northern Soul Sisters now. Bye. Hi, it's Ruan and it's my turn to talk about my blouse. Now for the eagle eyed of you, you will see that I chose the same fabric as Tamlin. I've got this beautiful Lady McElroy fabric and I love the colours on this. I think um, Tamlin found it a little bit muted for her like it, but I actually quite like it. Um, in the muted colours. I have worked with this Lady McElroy fabric before but on a different cloth base and I made a caftan with it and it's absolutely stunning. Obviously Lady McElroy fabrics are really really good quality so you're going to have something really good there for yourself. Now so here's the pattern. I'm not going to go into too many details because I know Tamlin and Rachel will have already talked all about this so you don't need to know everything about it but I thought I'd go through maybe my size proportions and a few quick thoughts on it as well. So as you know from the girls they have different um, sizes on here that are not done in the traditional manner, which I love. Now, for frame of reference, I'm a 43 bust, a 38 waist and a 46 hips. So on this one, I should have been between <laughs> the squiggles and the diamond for my bust and my hips. But I should have been out another like almost two sizes for my waist, which is the square. But having looked at it, it's quite straight down here. I thought, well, if it's going to be able to kind of coat with my hips, then it should be fine for my waist. So I actually did a straight size wiggle, wiggly lines, <laughs> just so you know. OK, <laughs> now it is designed to be loose fitted this garment so you have to take that into consideration when you're you're looking at it and that's the reason that I kind of sized down slightly just I was kind of in between sizes so I went with the lower one rather than the larger one but if you go on to Donna's website at Size Me Sewing she does have a more detailed size um instructions details on every part of it one of which is actually the sleeve length as well which I found really interesting for myself because I always tend to struggle with my height because I'm five foot eight with the length of blouses and tops and also the sleeve length as well so that was really good it's a good tip to go and kind of have a good look at that and I used Donna's video quite a bit I was making some of this up at so too so that was quite difficult but I had watched a bit of the video before and then I watched a bit of the video afterwards when I was finishing everything off and I have to say the video is very good now obviously with this course you get a bespoke video that is just for you guys so it goes into an awful lot of detail we've talked about this before and I'm sure the girls have as well that Donna is just fabulous on these videos she gives an awful lot of insider details pattern designer details, how she believes it should be. On this particular pattern, she shows lots of different fabrics that you can make it in. She has made all sorts of different versions, one of which was actually made in a very fine knit fabric, which I thought was really interesting. So something that still had drape. You'll notice probably in all three of our blouses that we don't have an awful lot of drape in this pattern. And I think that may be the issue that the three of us have kind of found with it. Now, I understand the decision that's probably been made behind this because this is a learn to sew dressmaking course. Now, some of the things that you're doing with very fine fabrics can sometimes be very difficult. We've all tried to do things with like a silky satin or a viscose or something like that, and we've kind of had problems. So this pattern is actually designed for drapey fabrics. And I can understand why, now that I've made it, that you would probably prefer a drapey fabric. But on the other hand, I kind of understand why it's in a cotton lawn, because for a beginner sewist, this would actually be easier to work on when you're doing some of the difficult and intricate um, instructions. However, on myself personally, because it's quite oversized and it's got a lot of ease in this pattern, I feel like the garment's wearing me rather than the other way around, if that makes sense. However, I do believe that if this was in a viscose, I would feel very differently about it because it would have a lot more flow and a lot more drape to it. And Donna does talk a lot about that in the bespoke video about the shoulder darts and things like that. Obviously, in a viscose, it would just fall rather than, you might notice on mine, if I can you see that it's kind of sticking out a little bit? So the construction of this pattern is really, really good. It's a very easy to construct pattern, but again, it does have some of the key features in that you would want to learn if you were new to dressmaking. One of which, which is the bias binding that goes all the way through. I used a pre-made bias binding just to go around mine. 
What I like about this pattern is that it's actually a V-neck. I very rarely wear a V-neck, which is weird because I always have loads of necklaces and I never get to wear them because I don't like to wear them over my garments, which is bizarre, I know, but that's just me. Um, but what I like about this is you can always change how low you want this V to be as well quite easily when you're constructing it, which is really good. It does have um, raglan sleeves, not that you can see it very well in my patterned fabric, which makes sleeve construction a lot easier. Again, really good for beginner sewists. And Donna does talk about um, that this construction is quite similar to the VN blouse. So I think that's quite good from a beginner sewist point of view because it's kind of cementing some of the things that you've been doing with the um, VN blouse into then the Florence blouse. But this is then introducing a V-neck and also shirring and this is where this beauty comes in <laughs> i do love a bit of shirring i've only done shirring once before and donna's video does tend to concentrate primarily on the shirring because obviously if it's a new um skill for yourself it can be quite daunting i was very daunted when i first did shirring but the video is absolutely fabulous and you have to really listen to her construction method because it's very easy if you are not a beginner so it's just carry on do your own thing I've done that before but I was very lucky because I was making some of it up at sew too and then Tamlin said no 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 make sure you do your sleeve the right way and I remembered seeing it in the video so when you're constructing your sleeve when you're doing the shoeing on your sleeve you put the sleeve into the sewing machine the opposite way around to what you think you're going to do and it's quite interesting because it kind of goes against everything that you think, if that makes sense. But I love the shearing and you do it all in one go as well, which is unusual. I've before done loads of shearing on one piece and then shearing on another piece, put them together. Whereas on this one, you just keep going and keep going and keep going until you've done the 13 rows of shearing. And I was really pleased with mine, actually. And... I think on a viscose fabric as well, I think this would look really delicate. As you can see, mine's got quite a lot of structure to it because it's the cotton lawn. Um, but I think if this was a viscose, it would be a lot softer, if you know what I mean. Now, sleeve length for me, I didn't make any modifications to this pattern, so I didn't lengthen it and I didn't do anything to the sleeve either, which is unusual for me. But like I said, I've been checking all of that out. And um, it's a perfect length. So if I just put my arm out like that you can see lovely lovely length if this was viscose that would probably billow over a bit which I quite like the idea of but because it's cotton lawn it's a little bit stiff um but yeah very happy with the shearing of these sleeves I'll stand up so that you can see what length it is on me as well I've just got it tucked under at the moment I haven't hemmed mine yet but ooh, can you even see it comes let me just pull you down a little bit right down here so it's probably going to have a little bit taken up but that is quite long for someone who's five foot eight so I reckon you could probably get this out of less fabric as well now with this fabric you have to be a bit careful because it's got these things here and you don't want them to be <laughs> you know what I'm saying don't you <laughs> so you have to be a bit careful and I didn't think about that at the time actually but I'm very glad that it actually did work out for me so we're all okay um now it was a very easy make the instructions that Donna does are always very good. The only thing I struggle with with Donna's instructions is the fabric choice for the photos. She's even admitted that herself, bless her, that um, sometimes it's quite difficult to kind of see wrong side, right side when you're using that. However, that's why I just use the video, because why wouldn't you if there's been a video done that's bespoke? The cutting layouts, I mean, I whizzed this up in no time whatsoever, because these are the cutting layouts. So you've only got your back, your front and your sleeve, and you can see how strange shape that sleeve is and that's because it's raglan sleeve and then you've got a dart here as well so again not going to go into too much detail because girls have already done that and i'm already at nearly 10 minutes but what are my thoughts on this pattern i think it's a nice pattern i'm not sure it's a pattern that i would choose as such because there's other bowels patterns that i've made and loved i would like to have seen this in a viscose i think it would have been nice to have had some viscose options as well as cotton lawn options because then you can kind of make the decision yourself like i say i do understand the potential decision on doing cotton lawn because it's a bit more structured it would be a lot easier for beginner sewists but my worry then is that you may, might not be very happy with the end garment because if you can see it's, it's very big on me and whereas if this was viscose it would just lie 
and flow really nicely as would the sleeve for me it feels almost a little bit too much because it's in cotton lawn and it feels a bit stiff on my body but again that's personal preference and as a beginner you may decide that you don't want that would i make this blouse again i don't think so because it's not my style like i say i would like to see it in viscose etc but i think there's other patterns that for example um the vm blouse that we made last time which was a really nice surprise for us again because that was in viscose maybe it's more aligned to kind of what i would wear i think for me when you've got big sleeves sometimes it can be quite difficult because i feel like i've got a lot of fabric on um, Donna had a few options that were just kind of quite plain fabrics and they looked quite elegant. So I think something like that or maybe like a viscose satin plain tucked into some nice jeans with a nice belt I think would look really beautiful and be quite nice for work as well. But for me it's not really my kind of bag if you know what I mean. But I love the fabric, I really enjoyed the construction of it. You know it's one of those things where you're going to learn really good techniques as well and hopefully not be scared of them again because shearing is just awesome it really is and really comfy as well you know instead of having maybe a bit of elastic round your um end of your sleeve it's really comfy to have shearing as well so i'm not going to go on anymore because i've already done too much already but i hope you've enjoyed our review of um the pattern this month obviously sometimes things are a hit sometimes they're not really looking forward to next month because it's the vn dress and i've been wanting to make that for quite some time so i'm looking forward to that please do remember if you want to give this course a go it's a six month subscription course called the learn to dress make um subscription and we do have a bespoke code for you guys so that you can get half price off your first month which I think is a really good deal because you're getting your pattern everything that you need your fabric etc all sent to you including postage which is awesome. So to be able to get half price for the first month, you would need to use the code NSS half price at checkout. And then you could be on your way to learning to dress make. I think we have said before as well, you don't have to be a beginner service. You could just do this because you want to increase some of your skill sets and have someone holding your hand whilst doing it. So again, totally up to you. And I'm going to just sign off. That's us done. That's another month. So we're halfway through the subscription and hopefully we'll see you again soon when we do our VM dress. Take care. Bye.